Papa Volt, Mama Volt, Baby Volt. In this video, I wanna help you decide on which Hypervolt massage gun is the best for you, because not all massage guns are created equal, which is why most massage tech companies like to have different product lines. And for Hypervolt, I bought all of them. The Hypervolt 2 Pro, the Hypervolt 2, and the Hypervolt Go 2. Now I know I've made a ton of videos on the Theragun products, but Hyperize has definitely caught my attention lately, especially with their new upgrades to their massage guns. And to keep it super simple for you, I'm gonna break it down between design and functionality, and then compare each to each other across sound, portability, and power to inform my recommendation to you for which one you should purchase. Now this recommendation will come near the end of the video, so make sure that you watch until the end so you feel comfortable on making the right decision. Now, when unboxing all the devices, you can clearly tell that they are three different colors, the Hypervolt Go 2 being a clear white and being around 1.5 pounds. The Hypervolt 2 is a metal gray color at around 1.8 pounds. And the Hypervolt 2 Pro is a solid black and it sits around 2.6 pounds and it is pretty hefty. And in the box, they all come with the standard charger and user guide, but when it comes to attachments, the Hypervolt Go 2 only has the flathead and the bullet head, but the Hypervolt 2 Pro and the Hypervolt 2 actually both come with five attachment heads and a neat little case that you can store them in. Unfortunately, unlike the Theraguns, they don't come with their own cases themselves, which to me is a pretty big misstep, especially when you're trying to carry these around. Now, they all have very similar design features, such as the L-shaped form factor, as well as the power indicator at the bottom and vents at the top for ventilation and airflow. Now the Hypervolt Go 2 has the simplest design with an angled handle, most likely for better handling and portability. And the power button is on the back, which is also used to control the massage speeds, which are shown with the LED indicators on the back as well. But the Hypervolt 2 sticks with the standard shape of the original Hypervolt with a new and modern millennial look and feel to it. And it also includes the three LED indicators for pressure sensing. And then finally, the Hypervolt 2 Pro is a more refined and souped up version of the Hypervolt 2. It definitely has more pro features. You actually turn the device on at the bottom of the device and you control the different speeds by turning the dial left or right. But the special feature about this thing is actually this a removable battery, which is probably good for charging and always having an updated battery on the go. If I was compared to cars, the Hypervolt 2 would be the Toyota, the Hypervolt 2 Pro would be the Lexus, and the Hypervolt Go 2 would be a Prius. Now what really matters is how powerful are these devices? The Hypervolt Go 2 is around 40 watts, three speeds, and no Bluetooth. The Hypervolt 2 has 60 watts, three speeds, but has Bluetooth as well as their pressure sensing technology. And the Hypervolt 2 Pro has 90 watts of power, five speeds, Bluetooth capable, as well as the pressure sensor technology. And in real world terms, yes, the Hypervolt 2 Pro is the most powerful and you could definitely feel it. Honestly, after you hit speed three, you're like, whoa, this is a lot. But when it comes to the Hypervolt Go 2, as well as the Hypervolt 2, they kind of go neck and neck. I definitely would probably give the edge to the Hypervolt and that's because again, it's 60 watts, but the Hypervolt Go 2 definitely holds to its own. Now my favorite part, the sound test. I don't know about you, but sound is definitely very important to me when it comes to massaging gun because I don't like being distracting, whether it's at the gym or traveling. And I would definitely admit that the Hyperize massage guns are definitely known to be quiet with their Quiet Glide technology. The Hypervolt Go 2 is the quietest of the three. It is around 65 to 75 decibels in my test. You can definitely hear your TV while using it. These two, however, definitely get up there in sound, both going around 81 to 80 decibels. But I will say the Hypervolt 2 Pro definitely starts off a little bit quieter just because of the fact that it has those five different speeds and starts at a pretty low speed and ends at a high speed. So if you're looking for the most quiet device, the Hypervolt Go 2 would probably be your best option. Now, when it comes to app connectivity, this is something that I do really like about Hyperize is the fact that their app is just really intuitive and really helpful. All the devices have specific programs within the app, but you can only do the wireless control with the Hypervolt 2 Pro and the Hypervolt 2. Unfortunately, this is not the case with the Hypervolt Go 2 because it doesn't have Bluetooth capability. So you just have to follow along with the videos on your own. All right, so after breaking everything down from a design and functionality standpoint, which Hypervolt massage gun do I recommend? Well, honestly, it really does depend. And I would say it depends on your experience level as well as your needs. So I'll kind of break it down for each one. The first level is beginner, somebody who's just kind of getting into the space and just getting a step into recovery and trying out different massage tech. I definitely recommend the Hypervolt Go 2, just because of the fact that it's simple to use, easy design, it's portable, it's powerful enough, and it does the job just fine. Or if you're a more advanced experience level or a hardcore athlete or weekend warrior, I actually would recommend the Hypervolt 2 Pro 
just because of the fact that it's heavy duty, it's a replaceable battery. Love the dial at the back where you have five different speeds to go through it. That's why I would choose this. Now you might be asking me, why not the Hypervolt 2? Well, for me, it actually just sits in the middle. Like it doesn't provide the extra great possibilities of the Hypervolt 2 Pro, and it doesn't provide the portability of the Hypervolt Go 2. It kind of just sits in that weird middle child space, which is why for me, I would either go super portability or go big or go home. Let me know in the comments, which one would you choose? Would it be the Hypervolt Go 2? Would it be the Hypervolt 2 or the Hypervolt 2 Pro? Say that three times fast. And if you're trying to decide between the Theragun and the Hypervolt, check out this video right here. Or if you're interested in other massage tech, check this video out right here. You already know, embrace the hype fam. Woo!